Hi, welcome to Baking Mad. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious, simple vanilla cupcake recipe. What you want to do before you begin baking is just to prepare a 12 hole muffin tray with these little cupcake cases. Just pop them all in nicely, keep that to the side because you'll need that later. What you'll also want to do about 30 minutes before you begin baking is to get your eggs and butter out of the fridge just to bring them up to room temperature. This will just make them a lot easier to work with when you come to making your cake batter. So start with 150 grams of unsalted butter. This will be softened because you brought it to room temperature. And you'll just want to pop it into a mixer bowl. Also in the bowl, what you'll want to add is some golden unrefined caster sugar. Now I prefer to use this kind of caster sugar when baking because it gives a really nice golden colour to your cakes and it also gives a nice kind of caramel flavour to them as well. So if you just pop that in, and what you'll want to do is pop it into the mixer for about five minutes and it's going to cream together the butter and the sugar make it nice and light and fluffy. You'll notice that the colour will lighten, lighten up a little bit. Um, you can do this by hand with a wooden spoon, although it takes a little bit of extra effort, or you could also use a hand electric mixer. But we prefer to use the bigger food processor. So, once you've popped it in, pop it onto about a medium speed for approximately five minutes. You might need a little bit longer. The longer you do it, the better, because it will really incorporate lots of air and make it nice and fluffy. Okay, so that's the creaming of the butter and the sugar done. Um, as you'll see, slightly lighter in colour now. Um, and it's a bit of a, more of a fluffier texture. What you probably will want to do is just using a spatula, just run around the sides of the bowl, just getting rid of any excess stuff that's creeped up the bowl so that you've got it all together in the middle. So now what you're going to want to do is add in three medium eggs. These are obviously at room temperature because you've taken out them out of the fridge before baking. So we're going to crack them in one by one. It's important to not get any shell into your mixture because nobody wants crunchy, crunchy cupcakes. So if you just give it a quick blast between each egg. Now what you want to do is just with the spatula again, just run around the edges, make sure that all the mixture is incorporated in the middle of the bowl. Okay. Now what we need is 150 grams of self-raising flour. On top of that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder just to give it an extra lift. Just give it a quick mix around just to make sure that the baking powder is all fully incorporated in together. And then you can add this into your mixer. a few minutes you don't want to mix it too long because you're going to knock out all of the air that you created from creaming together the butter and the sugar okay so that's all mixed in together what I'm also going to do is add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract this will just give your cupcakes that delicious vanilla flavor that will set them aside from other cakes that you might make so one teaspoon of this would be enough but you can add more if you prefer a stronger vanilla flavour, that's completely fine. You can also use different extracts, such as orange extract, lemon extract, peppermint might be quite nice. Or if you wanted to make a chocolate cupcake, what you could just do is um, swap out 25 grams of the self-raising flour and put in 25 grams of cocoa powder. That'll just give it a nice chocolatey look and taste to it. One last blast. So what you'll end up with is a nice light coloured mixture. You might want to just run your spatula around the sides just to get rid of any flour. Um, but it should be a nice kind of sticky mixture that, that will be easy to just put into your cupcake cases. So what I'm going to do is use in our cupcake cases and just two spoons, just gently scoop in the mixture. 
Some people prefer to use an ice cream scoop um, to get an even consistency across all the cupcakes. Alternatively, you could use a piping bag, pipe each one individually, because then you know how much you've got in each one. But I usually find kind of one, one and a half spoons is enough to fill your cupcake case. So, now you've filled up all your cupcake cases, they're all ready to go into the oven. If you've got any leftover cupcake mixture, just pop in some extra ones in the tray underneath or save them for later and you could use them just as extra cupcakes. So, you can see that they're all nicely filled up to the top. You can top any up if you've been a bit stingy with some and over generous with others, but these look ready to go in the oven now. So what you want to do is pop them in at the temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. If it's a fan, it would be 160 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. So I'm gonna pop these in now for 20 to 25 minutes. The cupcakes are now out of the oven. They've been in there for 20, 25 minutes. Just to check that they're cooked throughout, you might want to just insert a skewer into the center of the cupcakes. If there's any mixture still on there, you probably just wanna bake them for a few extra minutes. If it comes out clean, you're ready to go. So here they are, all nicely baked, ready to be decorated. So that is your simple vanilla cupcake recipe.